was the most mentioned because she not. Nicki Minaj was the most mentioned, not just that. Nicki Minaj is that bitch. Nicki Minaj a bitch. Period. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Barb City. It is your girl, Christiane. I am feeling better today, and I'm ready to get right into it. This video is about Rolling Stone. They took it upon themselves to get into our business, you guys. Y'all know what I mean by our. And they decided to post their top 200 albums ever, okay? And... They did that and they chapped a lot of buns this morning. They have a lot of people feeling like they disrespected several people in the industry. And I'm sure you guys are all wondering how. I'm just as confused as all of you guys. So let me fill you in. They put Nicki Minaj at number 31, you guys. And that's totally fine, depending on who is above her, who is under her, everything like that, you know. We all know Nicki Minaj is an icon, and she paved the way for many, many artists, okay? So when they did post about Nicki Minaj, it seemed like they were sh um, throwing a little shade towards Cardi B, kind of about, kind of how Jocelyn threw shade at Chanel when she was giving Chanel her award, okay, kind of like that. But they said that Pink Friday proves you can own the charts without dialing back to your confrontational individuality and it set the table for a generation of artists including cardi b meg the stallion and doja cat of course all of us already know this this is not a surprise this is not something that some artists excluding doja cat will accept but you guys, this is where the disrespect came in. They put um, Cardi B at number 16. Come on, you guys. They didn't just disrespect Nicki Minaj when they did this. I know I'm a bar, but you guys, it's bigger than that. They put Cardi B above Nicki, Kendrick, J. Cole, Nas, Wayne, Pac, you guys. Come on. Pac, you guys. Come on. Pac, you guys. First of all, how is that when Nicki Minaj is the only female rapper to outsell Tupac? So how are you even going to put Pink Friday sold over 375,000 copies first week and entered back into iTunes um, top whatever, okay? Like this is 12 years after its release you guys like come on you guys these celebrities are ridiculous and they should be ashamed and a lot of people agree with everybody you guys saying things like cardi b before nas Pac, and m is a problem invasion of privacy is a trash album cardi is overhyped and pushed by the industry um Elmatic is easily in top 10 and Cardi should be at the end of the list at 200, you guys. That is the worst list ever. Elmatic at 24 is bold. Rolling Stone really trying to piss people off this morning. Rolling Stone needs to stay out of black people's business, you guys. Can't we believe in that? Because uh, another user says... Um, how many people are of color that made this list? <laughs> Cardi at 16, y'all must be smoking crack. Come on now, get it real. Am I reading this wrong or is Cardi making this list before M and Tupac? <laughs> Not going to bother ruining my day today with this list, you guys, because that is basically what it did to me. So I definitely agree with this user. Um, users were not happy at all. Like, that's all I can say. The comments go on and 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 on. Okay. Um, 
And that's it. Like, people are not happy with Rolling Stone. And that's why y'all are flopping. That's why people are barely tuning into y'all. Because obviously, y'all are crap. Y'all are liars. Y'all are making stuff up. You're not going off of real talent. You're purposely just trying to pick with Nicki Minaj. People going up there, accepting awards, accepting this, accepting that. You should feel ashamed of yourself. Simple as that. Like, you know that... It's not real. It's not real love. And the audacity of Cardi B to actually frickin' respond to the madness. Talking about, oh, they posted on me. Um, like, so let me get this right. All those albums y'all was crying and screaming about should be above invasion and privacy. Y'all didn't make their sales jumps, but made mine jump. Um, 120 sales. Thanks for the easy, effortless promo. I ain't had to lift a finger. Now, the funny thing about this, you guys, is right after she posted this, she did drop, you guys. Her album um, did drop on Invasion and Privacy, did drop on iTunes, and Nicki Minaj actually went up with Pink um, Friday, 94 spots on iTunes, and is now the highest charting female rap album on the platform. (laughs) It has now surpassed various artists, you guys, now sitting at number 14. Isn't that funny what happens to people that run their mouth bragging? Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this. Thanks.